It's that time again to get your continuing education done, mortgage loan originators. You ain't smart enough. You need more education. That's right. It's time to get it done, and Remy can help you out and get it done online. They're doing an online webinar to get that handled on October 18th, and I guess they've got some steep discounts for you as well. So It's cheap to get smarter. There you go. Don't miss that. Just click the Remen banner you see on your right if you're watching us on your desktop, or if you're on your mobile device, just scroll way down past the comments, and you'll see it there. Get registered. Get your DRE, your DRE, your continuing education credits done. Dre is back. <laughs>、hey, here. This is、uh, Remen, a wholesale lender helping the mortgage brokers out、mm-hmm. there. You、sure. know, we're going to、yeah. make it cheaper for you to get your continuing ed out of the way. There you go. Which is a very, very good thing. Yes, it is. You know, I love this continuing education when we take the ethics part. When is it okay to redline? One,、yeah. when the person is of a different race. <laughs>、yeah. When the person is of a different ethnicity. <laughs> when the person is of a different gender. Or D, none of the above. It is not okay to redline in real estate. Discrimination is illegal. Huh, let me think here. Yeah, Here's my、tough. whole point with continuing education.、Mm. If you screw up the ethics,、uh, first of all, you shouldn't be able to study for the ethics. And if、Ooh. you get any one of them wrong on the ethics, you should never be able to have a real estate license or a lender's license. <laughs> Not allowed to study. No, because,、yeah. because if you can't figure that out, then you're too dumb. We, want to, we just want to see what your heart is really like. Exactly. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys heard this, but、uh, Keller Williams. Has been shooting for Remax as the real estate、uh, industry's top selling real estate company all across the country.、Yeah. This is a giant phallic swinging contest between Gary and the boys and girls <laughs> over there at Remax.、Yeah. So it's hard to accomplish, by the way, doing this, becoming the most profitable when you're losing all of your real estate agents to companies like online companies like eXp.、Hmm. Makes it very difficult for Keller, but that's not the point of today's show. Okay. Uh, Keller did this last January. They announced that they overtook Remax as the top selling real estate company in the entire country. That is so awesome for who?、Uh, oops, there's a problem, Frank. Yeah, the Franchise Times says that mantle of the most revenue belongs to. Remax. Uh oh. Oops. Not Keller. No. Sorry, <laughs> but that's just how it goes. But there is a silver lining for Keller. Well, first of all,、uh, and I gotta say this. I mean, who really cares? True, who cares? As an individual real estate agent, who cares? Being the biggest is only the best if, okay? As I say, an individual agent is more successful by being part of the biggest company.、Sure. That's the only way it matters to an individual independent agent. Right. If being part of the biggest, Makes you more successful, right? Right. So I'll work with the smallest real estate company if that company is the best personal fit for me.、Mm. So I don't care about being the biggest.、Mm. Keller and Remax, like I said, swinging around the old phallics right, right now. Right, right. And by the way, that enriches only those at the top of these companies. But if they were to take this contest, you know, and put it back in their pants and think of that individual agent and really think if it matters to them a little bit more, I think they do better. Okay, so from this article, Remax closed quite a bit more, two billion more than Keller. And to put that into perspective, Berkshire Hathaway, whose number three is on the list, only closed about two billion total. I'd ask, how much does the average agent make? I mean, that seems to be a better stat, don't you? It does. So, what you just told me is interesting. So, Remax overtook Keller by two billion dollars.、Mm-hmm, right. And the third one on that list only did two billion dollars. Right. So, the top two are huge. Big. Okay. Now, assuming that they have this, Remax and、um, Keller have equal numbers of agents, which we're really not sure of because it's a moving target. They both boast over 100,000 agents. But how many are producing?、True. That's a question we have. Let's assume that the number between these two companies is absolutely equal. That means that the average Remax agent makes more than the average Keller agent. Ooh, yeah, that's true. However, Keller is, by design, a great place for new agents to start with all their extensive training,、yeah. while Remax may be a destination for agents. Who's already cut their teeth at smaller brokerages, which means even if Remax agents make more money on average, it really has nothing to do with your ability to earn more. In fact, a place that trains and markets for new and or underproducing agents like Keller is probably a better fit. That's right. Further, and I just want to drive this point home. 
In January, perhaps Keller had taken over as a top producing real estate brokerage in the country. They might have done that, but again, who cares? Since then, they've lost agents to online brokerages like eXp, and Gary has come out and essentially alienated the individual real estate agent's best referral source, the independent loan officer. For sure, some of those leads that would have ended up with those Keller agents are now going to the competition. After all, if I were a lead producing loan officer, there's no way whatsoever in hell I'd send my referrals to a real estate brokerage that has a letter in their disclosures that basically says that my lead would be better off using the competition. These two occurrences have undoubtedly hurt Keller's reputation within the real estate community and hurt the independent Keller agent's ability to get referrals from their lender. But hey, if this is a phallic swinging contest for Gary or some vendetta against his competition, perhaps that's more important than the success of any one agent. The problem is, what if you are that one agent? Now, I wanna be clear about this, Frank. Mm. Keller does great trading. It's a great place for agents to learn how to become better agents. Keller is a top, top real estate company to work with. For sure. I am in no way, shape or form trying to knock the Keller agents because they do a great job. Yeah. Further, there are Keller brokerages that don't have that stupid form right. in their disclosures. Yeah, they're not doing it. Right, so yeah. as a lender, I would talk to my Keller referral sources and I would say, hey, in your upfront disclosures that you're giving to people, do you have the Keller that mortgage yeah. versus anybody else out there, yeah. which frankly is a RESPA violation in and of itself from my perspective over okay. here. Right. And it's something that is counterproductive to you building your own personal business. If they don't have that form and you have somebody who's working at Keller, I mean, I understand why you would keep Bravo. using them. Sure. These are probably friends you've had for a long period of time. Right. However, for the offices that do have that disclosure in there, and if you are a lead producing loan officer for which we are growing and growing, just like EXP, we are growing in numbers, uh, you're gonna wanna have to think twice about your, where your trusted referrals go to because in the event that form is in the file, um, it's basically say, don't use you. Well, there you have it. But of course, I'm sure you guys all have that figured out in your individual market areas. So with that, you guys have a great day. Let us know your thoughts and everything. Hey, congrats to Remax. Sure. Right? Congrats to those guys. And uh, leave your comments down below. Forward, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you later here at the National Real Estate Post. Talk Bye. to you soon. Bye.